All right. Uh, just got done and reacted to that EDP, man. I don't know if I'll put this in the same video, but here's just my reaction immediately after reading all that. Uh, let me say this, man. This individual EDP, um, Bryant, whatever, I made a video for him before. We've all made videos on him before. We've all seen this stuff about him. And I just want to say, man, after reading all that I read again and noting that he didn't stop, in fact, to the point where when he made that apology, he literally was still talking to this little girl the way she was, right? Sending all those disgusting texts. I'm just to the point where Obviously, you don't trust the man. I don't like the man. I said that he should get therapy. I should think he should do a lot of stuff. But this man is just an absolute um, disgrace. Um, he also said to this little girl that he was going to take her life if she said anything. Um, thank God she did report this to the authorities. This is real this time. This is not some uh, harassment or anything like that. This is truly her being scared for her life and sending this stuff to the cops. Right. And then obviously, you know, about Gideon and his team doing this whole thing. So this is real this time. Last time, this was an alleged little girl, but we saw the whole video. This was actually a truly a little girl, the real text message he's sending. And we know this is not the only person he sent this to, but he threatens everybody that he does this to. So he threatened her. And we saw earlier that he threatens other 17 year olds. So he's trying to do everything he can to make sure that he doesn't get caught again. Um, but he keeps doing this to kid after kid after kid after kid. And I just cannot. Um, I can't defend this man in any way, in any form. And I don't understand any people who want to, and some people say you try to get clout off this man or anything like that. There's no clout to be had from this man. This is just simply, to me, this is just another man. He's been gone off of social media for two years. I know he still makes videos on his website, sometimes TikTok, but this man's been gone out of our mind. Okay. He's not somebody we're trying to uh, get any fame off of him his career is gone it's gone forever will never come back he continues to do the same things now here's the thing i'm most worried about right i'm hoping that the authorities are able to handle this in the right manner because i do think that this man is getting further and further unhinged he's starting to really lose his mind um and it's really starting to become a problem um because the way he's threatening people the way he's saying he's gonna take their lives the way he's talking to these little uh minors it's just ridiculous. And I think he, he and he said at this point he doesn't care anymore. So I think the only thing that can be done at this point is to lock this man away. Right. Take away his rights. He clearly doesn't care. He was sending these young minors uh, um, CP. If you all know what that is, he was sending these young little kids CP. He has CP on his phone. He has CP everywhere. He talks about CP. He even called himself a uh, pedo. So the point is, is this man clearly does not care. He's only a danger to society. And I'm hoping for once that he is not protected like he was before. Because when we were trying to make videos on this young man before, um, I'm not trying to knock YouTube, but YouTube for some reason went on this tirade to say that making videos on him was harassment. But it's not. And now he's back at it again to the point where the little girl had to make a video on YouTube because she was scared for her life. So YouTube, please don't try to go on this place where you try to hide this again. I'm not saying they're trying to hide it, but for some reason they thought it was harassment. And I don't I don't believe in that. We're simply just trying to protect the children. This man is unhinged. He's going after these young people and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And this has to be out there. So when people know who this man is in public, if he doesn't go to jail this time, if they see this man in public, they know that he's a danger. And that any kid that knows any kid that hears his name, any minor that sees his name pop up in their DMs, they will know what kind of man he is. We are here to protect the children. We are here to help them. And I just cannot stand this man anymore. There's so many more words that I want to say, but he is obviously off the rails. OK, and I want to say this again. Right. I'm not saying that everybody who indulges in the adult entertainment videos will turn out this way. But I will say this. The people who who are into corn, the people who are deep into corn and think looking at corn is fun. I'm telling you, I am telling you. I told you guys before that a lot of people that go after minors are also in the corn. He says it multiple times that he looks at corn a lot and not only any type of corn. He looks at teenager corn, right? 18 and 19. He said that's his favorite. Stay away from these people. I am serious. If you know somebody who is a corn addict, please do not. 
do not get in too engaged with these people because some of these people do go off the hinges, especially if they can't even help themselves for talking about corn all the time. The more you hear somebody talk about corn, the more you hear somebody talk about how they love it, how much they want to watch it, and there's no shame to it. Those people are very dangerous because they are going to eventually try to act out their fantasies. It's a matter of time. And we are simply trying to protect these minors from this man. I don't want to read something in the news. I don't want to read something in the papers that a young girl was um, taken advantage of by this man. Right. You hear how he talks. He wants to handcuff girls to beds. He wants to take away their innocence. For lack of a better word, he says he loves that. This man is sick in the head. This man is cannot be on the streets. And I'm praying and I mean this sincerely that he goes to jail because he is a danger to society. He is a danger. This is not out of hate for him. This is not because I'm like, oh, I just hate this guy. It is. I care about the kids way more than I care about him. And so we need to protect these minors and we need to protect people because like you said, this is a man who owns a lot of firearms who says he loves to go out. And it, even though people say he's soft and they say that he won't do anything, anybody is capable of snapping. Anybody is capable of snapping. And when this man snaps, it's not going to be a good thing. Please, please share videos. You don't have to share my video necessarily. It's just if you see anything, share the video Please alert the authorities if possible. If you see something that's going on, that's not good. As far as I know, the authorities have already been contacted, so there's no need for you to do that right now. I'm just saying, if you see this in normal life, if you see this happening around you, please, please alert the authorities. Whenever you see any men like this, any women like this, any adults acting like this towards minors, because you never know what could happen. Please stay safe out there. Please protect your uh Parents, please protect your children. Teachers, please protect your students. And anybody who works with children, please pay attention. Okay, I know sometimes y'all hear false reporting, and I know that. But do your diligence, okay? Because there really are men like this man out there. Take care.